Hi students, it's teacher Sam here. How are you today? It's lovely to see you all. Welcome back. Today we're going to start a brand new story. Very exciting story. It's called Amy's Diary and it's Unit 17 of the Spacetown program for P3. Let's get started now. You may have a diary at home. You may actually write a diary. And this diary belongs to Amy. She is the author and the illustrator. And you can see it's even got a padlock on it. So that means nobody can read what's inside. Top secret. Shh. Keep out. And there's a beautiful picture of a cute rabbit here as well. But because we are Amy's friends, she said that we can open the diary and read it. So great. Let's go. Now, we're going to look at the content words, first of all, for the story. Diary. Diaries. Note. Dear. Everything. Happy, happier, happiest memory Hong Kong mum dad Amy June Amy and June are cousins this is mum's sister, Ruby, Aunt Ruby. And this is Uncle Luke. Bear. Panda. Cute rabbit. July. Day. Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, fine, morning, afternoon, bookshop, big Buddha, Cable car, Mongkok, Sai Kung, Airport, Park, The Peak, Restaurant, Hills, Cupboard, Sampan. Photos, lots of photos, shopping, dinner, at home, weather, games, dim sum, seafood, fun, Worried. Lost. Looking everywhere. Sad. Tired. Bedtime. Asleep. Okay, now we've got a mixture of regular and irregular verbs in the present and the past tense. Okay, so first one. Write wrote, play, played, like, liked, show, showed, visit, visited, cook, cooked, fall, fell, enjoy, enjoyed, look, looked, Rain rained. Take took. 
meet, met, buy, bought, love, loved. Okay, students, now it's time to do the reading. I'm very excited because, like I say, this book is very, very fun. I hope you enjoy it. Amy's Diary. Reading time. Okay, students, we're going to read the big book now, which is called Amy's Diary. So, the title of the book is Amy's Diary. And Amy is both the author and the illustrator for this book. That's why you can't see the author and illustrator, because it's written and illustrated by Amy. Let's go to the back cover and read the blurb. Amy lives in Hong Kong. Read her secret diary and find out what Amy and her family do when her aunt, uncle and cousin visit from Beijing. So if you remember from the content words, Amy lives in Hong Kong with her mom and dad. Her mom's sister Ruby lives in Beijing, which is the capital city of China. So that's Aunt Ruby, Uncle Luke, and their daughter June. So that means that Amy and June are cousins. Okay, we've got the content words and the high frequency words here for you. Let's start with the content words from Sunday and work our way down. Sunday, July. Airport, afternoon, met, Uncle Luke, Aunt Ruby, cousin, June, dim sum, restaurant, mum, shopping, showed, panda, bear, cute, played, liked, happiest, memory, Monday, weather, fine, the peak, let's move back up to the top now, morning, took, lots, photos, park, bedtime, diary, Tuesday, Mongkok, lost, looked, everywhere, worried, bookshop, bought, wrote, Diaries, Wednesday, Sai Kung, Seafood, Sampan, Tired, Fell, Asleep, Thursday. Okay, let's go back up to the top. Rained, Games, Home, Dad, Cooked, Dinner, Friday, Cable Car, Hills, Big Buddha, Saturday, Sad, Note, Junes, Dear, Amy, Enjoyed, Visiting, Hong Kong, Fun, Loved, Everything, Cupboard. Now I'm just going to move across to the high frequency words now, starting from we and moving down from there. We went to the in and my ate a then me her it was together I so of funny at got found our on he after that today long ride over saw very you from look Sunday the 16th of July we went to the airport in the afternoon we met Uncle Luke Aunt Ruby and my cousin June we ate dim sum in a restaurant then mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping June showed me her panda bear it was cute. We played together. I liked June and her panda bear. My happiest memory, I met June. And the pictures are here, as you can see.
Okay, Monday the 17th of July. The weather was fine, so we went to the peak in the morning. June and I took lots of photos. Uncle Luke was funny. We went to the park in the afternoon. Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. At bedtime, I showed June my diary. My happiest memory. June liked my diary. And the pictures are here. Tuesday, the 18th of July. We went to Mong Kok. June got lost, so we looked everywhere. I was worried. We found her in a bookshop. June bought a diary. Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. At bedtime, June and I wrote in our diaries. My happiest memory. I found June. And the pictures are here. Wednesday, the 19th of July. We went to Sai Kung. We ate seafood in a restaurant, then we went on a sampan. Uncle Luke was tired, so he fell asleep. After that, Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. My happiest memory. We went on a sampan. And the pictures are here. Thursday, the 20th of July. Today, it's rained, so June and I played games at home. Dad and Uncle Luke cooked dinner. Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. My happiest memory. We played games. The pictures are here. Friday the 21st of July. We went on the cable car. It was a long ride over the hills. We saw the big Buddha. June and I took lots of photos. Mum and Aunt Ruby went shopping. My happiest memory? We went on the cable car. And the pictures are here. Saturday, the 22nd of July. Today I was very sad. We went to the airport in the afternoon. Aunt Ruby, Uncle Luke and June went home. I found a note on my diary. My happiest memory? I found June's note. And the pictures are here. Let's read the notes together. Dear Amy, to Amy, from June. Okay, dear Amy, from June. Dear Amy, I enjoyed visiting you in Hong Kong. It was fun. I loved everything. From June. Look in the cupboard. Now, what is it? Now, have a think. What do you think is inside the cupboard? Something that... June brought with her from Beijing something that she liked and something that Amy also liked. What do you think it is? Shall we count to three and then open the cupboard? One, two, three. Very good, yeah. It's a cute panda bear or a cute panda. Well done. Okay, I'm going to continue now with extracts from Amy's diary. This is uh, Resource 7, Amy's diary extract. Here we go, Amy's diary. And I'll read it for you. Sunday the 22nd of July, in the morning we went shopping in Mong Kok. June bought new shoes and I bought a new dress. After that we went for lunch. We ate roast duck and pancakes. It was delicious. 
we felt really full. In the afternoon, we went to the cinema to see a movie. We ate a lot of popcorn. The movie was very funny. We laughed a lot. Top secret, my happiest memory. June and I felt happy. Okay, let's have a look at the details in more focus now. So, Sunday the 22nd of July is the day and the date of this particular diary entry. And the events is the midsection here. It's a bigger section. There's lots of actions, what the characters do. So, for example, they went shopping. Uh, June bought new shoes. Amy bought a new dress. They went for lunch and ate roast duck and pancakes. They felt really full. And then after lunch in the afternoon, they went to the cinema and watched a movie and ate a lot of popcorn. The movie was really funny and really good and they laughed a lot. And then at the very bottom, June and I felt happy. That's the personal comments, the happiest memory from that day. Okay, students, now we're going to focus on the past tense verbs that we can see in the story. This particular entry, this Sunday, the 22nd of July, the same entry. And we can see the following verbs. Went, bought, is uh, mentioned twice here. Went again, ate, was, and felt. Went, ate, was, laughed. Felt. So a mixture of regular and irregular verbs there in the past tense. There we go. Okay. Now, let's move forward. We're going to look now at the key question words, which are who, what, where, when, and how. Critical question words. Very useful for when you're doing comprehension. So, once again, let's have a look at... The diary entry Sunday the 22nd of July. In the morning and in the afternoon is when the diary entry takes place. So we need to use the question word when for that. So in the morning and in the afternoon. Okay students let's look at the next question word now which is who we went shopping that's Amy, Amy's mum and dad, June, Aunt Ruby and Uncle Luke, June bought new shoes, I bought a new dress, that's Amy, Amy's diary, I, we went for lunch, we ate roast duck and pancakes, we felt really full, we went to the cinema, we ate a lot of popcorn, we laughed a lot, June and I, that's June and Amy, felt happy. So the question word is who? Okay, let's look at the next one, which is the place, so that's where. So let's have a look here, shopping in Moncock, Moncock, and we went to the cinema. So for this uh, question, it's the question word where, Moncock and cinema, the places where they went. Okay, the next focus is what. What did they do? So, for example, they went shopping, they bought new shoes, bought a new dress, went for lunch, ate roast duck and pancakes, went to the cinema, ate a lot of popcorn, laughed a lot. So, we need to use the question word what for that. What did they do? And the next question word is how. How did they feel? So, for example, in the first paragraph, we felt really full. And the personal comment at the very bottom here, June and I felt happy. How did they feel? They felt happy. So, we use the question word how for that uh, question. Okay, students, we're going to finish off this video with a look at some happy festival memories. Okay, students, let's have a look at the title here. It's Happy Festival Memories 2017. As you can see, there are lots of pictures of different types of festivals uh, which take place both in Hong Kong and around the world. So it's very, very important to learn something about different peoples, different cultures, 
So later when you go traveling, you will have some knowledge about how different people live and how they think. So let's have a look. Okay, students, let's take a look at the contents page now. So first of all, chapter one and his diary from pages one to five. Chapter two, Joe's diary from pages six to seven. Chapter 3, Iman's Diary from pages 8 to 11. And Chapter 4, Aisha's Diary from pages 12 to 13. So first of all, Andy's Diary. Okay, Thursday the 21st of December. Before Christmas, in the morning we went to the shopping mall. We bought cards, presents and decorations. I saw Santa. In the afternoon, we went to the supermarket. We bought a turkey, vegetables and a Christmas cake. Top secret, my happiest memory. I asked Santa for a robot. He smiled and told me he liked cookies. Next page, Sunday the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. In the morning, we wrote our cards, wrapped our presents, and decorated our Christmas tree. In the evening, we went to church and sang carols. At bedtime, we put on our pajamas and were very excited because Santa was coming. Top secret, my happiest memory. I put milk and cookies by the tree for Santa. Monday the 25th of December Christmas Day in the morning we saw a lot of presents under the tree then we saw the milk and cookies were gone it must have been Santa we opened our presents we were very excited in the afternoon we ate a big lunch mum and dad fell asleep and we played with our new toys Top secret, my happiest memory. I love my new car. Thanks, Santa. Monday, the 26th of December, Boxing Day. In the afternoon, we had a party. Many relatives visited us. We got presents from our aunts and uncles. We played board games with our cousins and ate lots of snacks. In the evening, we watched a Christmas movie and ate chocolate. Grandma and Grandpa fell asleep. Top secret, my happiest memory. I liked playing games with my cousins. Okay, let's move now to chapter 2, Joe's Diary. Wednesday the 4th of October, Mid-Autumn Festival. In the morning, Mr. Lowe showed us how to make a lantern. After school, I went shopping with my family. We bought mooncakes and starfruit. In the evening, we had a family meal with Grandma in Tai O. The mooncakes were yummy. After that, we went to the beach and looked at the big moon. We had a lot of fun. Top secret, my happiest memory. Polly the depollutionator came to help us clean up the beach. Okay, the next chapter is chapter 3, Iman's diary. Wednesday the 24th of June, before Eid. We waited for the sun to go down in the evening. Then we saw the moon. The Eid festival started. We were excited. We went shopping for new clothes. We made some desserts and painted our hands. They looked beautiful. Top secret, my happiest memory. I loved the painted flowers on my hand. Thursday the 25th of June, first day of Eid. We wore our new clothes and went to the mosque for the Eid prayer in the morning. 
Relatives visited us in the afternoon. We got presents and lucky money from our aunts and uncles. We played games with our cousins and ate lots of desserts. Top secret, my happiest memory? I love playing hide and seek with my cousin, Ayan. Friday the 26th of June, second day of Eid. We visited our friends and relatives in the morning. We got more presents and lucky money. I went shopping with my friends in the evening. We met our family for dinner at a restaurant. It was a very special night. Top secret, my happiest memory. I bought shoes with my lucky money. My dad said they were beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at chapter 4 now, Aisha's Diary. Thursday the 19th of October, Diwali. In the morning we cleaned our house. I helped mum put up the paper decorations and the lanterns. I wore my new clothes. In the evening we prayed and lit lots of lamps. After praying we had dinner and watched the fireworks. The fireworks were colourful and noisy. Top secret, my happiest memory. I loved the fireworks. And that's the end of this video, students. I hope you enjoyed it. There's lots of reading uh, and also uh, opportunities for you to learn things about different festivals. And I'll see you next time for more videos about Amy's Diary and also the next unit later on. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.